up on the hill in front of me we have the monastery of Saint John on the holy island of Patmos I'm, I'm now doing a hike from Scala the poor town to get up there it should be about half an hour I think so walk a little bit cross crisscross here to get there I have now reached the walking path so take me up the so first the cave and then the monastery I'm early in into the hike up to the cave and here's a glimpse of uh, Scala, the poor town obviously as higher up it goes the better the view Apocalypse the apocalypse where John of Patmo, Patmos was famous for writing the book of Revelation in the New Testament there's some walls here I believe these walls must be very old now I'm walking down through some old steps to get to the cave that's the entrance into the cave on the holy island of Patmos it's famous for pilgrimage for Christian believers and tourists who are into history so lots of old history on this island cave of the Acopalypse was John the Saint wrote the book of Revelation in the New Testament it's an entrance fee of 3 euros to go in there but not allowed to film or take any photos after now down the cave I'm now walking up towards where the monastery is up there I think it's about a 20 minutes walk from where the cave is it's a, it's a paved road there's loads of people in, in the summer month of July, August do this walk from Skada, poor town up to the cave was no more than 10 minutes it's hot but it's an easy walk it's actually more hot than usual this time of the year in June normally it's like 26 maybe 28 during the day then 20 22 at night but now it's 30 30 plus during the day and 25 27 at night last night I actually had 28 degrees by midnight it's a funny little step in a door here on route so almost look like a door to heaven there's a small wall with a door attached to it this is a dead end road here and take the other path further straight to the left to get up on the main road to get closer to the monastery this saint of John goes by many names is John of Acopalypse John of Patmos Saint John and so on For those who read the Bible, I don't personally, but you've probably seen us uh, Saint John. John of Patmos is more what the local people say, or John of the Apocalypse. That's probably the two most common names. From here, you can see the 
entire view of the port town of Skala on Patmos Island in Greece. I'm taking a hike on the main road up to the monastery. It's about 20 minutes from where I was on the cave. There is a closer path through it, but in this heat, I'd rather go on the main road to be on the safe side so not end up in a lot of dead ends in this heat. It's a nice breeze coming out here. It's 28 degrees today and it's around noon, so it's not as hot as it was on the island of Samos where I came from yesterday, where it was way over 30 degrees. I think I might have walked halfway now, so it's not far off now. It shouldn't be more than 10 minutes away from now. And they said it's a 20 minutes walk from the cave. So near there. It looked further away than it actually is in reality. Kora or Kora is the main capital of this island. They have Hora on all Greek islands and that means the main town. Panagia, not sure what that means, maybe church. It's a really nice breeze going through today. And have an outstanding view en route. Half built, empty construction there. Not entirely sure what, a, what that is. Little bit of you on your way. Just amazing. Amazing scenery. So here I am. Now soon by the monastery. It's massive. And then the view below. Just amazing. Oh yes, I'm here now by the monastery. Enjoying the view. As you can see, I put myself a shirt on because when you are outside or near a monastery, especially these types, the sacred ones, just for Christian respect, I believe. It's really hot though, so we're rather walking without one. <laughs> We welcome you to our holy monastery. Please be aware that you are in a holy place or the worships of God. Proper attitude and dress are therefore requested. Thank you. We oui, we. Oui. Monastery. I'm going to film this blind up to the monastery front door. It will be unedited later. Thank <laughs> you. 
Souvenir shop as usual outside. Famous buildings and the tourist attractions. That's it, that's the entrance. You're actually allowed to take pictures inside the monastery. It's just inside the cave of the Acropolis, you're not allowed to do it. A sacred moment for those who wish. Yeah, it says uh, just not take picture of the interior of the church, but here you're allowed to take pictures. It's very nice here actually. Wooden kneading through 1100th century. This is the church bell from inside. Off the, the cave down below, here is the shortcut what comes up to the monastery. So don't have to walk on the main road all the way up or down. I'm wrapping this tour of the monastery and the cave now. 
So from uh, Scala town is about 10 minutes walk to the cave, which is a bit further below here. And it costs 3 euros to, to enter and you're not allowed to take any pictures inside. And then from there it's about another 20 minutes walk up here to the monastery. And within the monastery area is free entrance and you're allowed to take pictures there but not of the interior inside and they also have a museum in there what costs two euros it's actually really nice uh, i'm amazed at this it was actually more amazing than i thought it was going to be and now i have a half an hour walk down back to the town enjoy see you later